Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how you can get started with Apache Kafka. If you're learning about writing event-driven applications, you probably have heard about Apache Kafka. If you would like to see how you can get started, stay tuned. Apache Kafka, as it is stated here on the Confluent.io webpage, is a community distributed event streaming platform capable of handling trillions of events a day. If you would like to learn more about it, head on over to the Confluent.io page. I will put the link in the video's description. You will also find a link to the documentation on this page. For this demonstration, I will be using the Lendoob Fast Data Dev Docker image which is an Apache Kafka Docker image for developers. Um, this image has pretty much everything built in. There is not much of a setup hassle and it's very straightforward to use. So we can go ahead and um, copy this pull command, the Docker pull command, and um, load this image onto our system so we can get started. If you're interested, you can read through the uh, introduction here and instructions. Um, I will post a link to Docker Hub to the Landoop Fast Data Dev image in the video's description as well. Here I am in the terminal on my local machine. I am running Fedora and uh, Docker is installed. I have copied my docker pull command, so I'll just paste it in here. And it's a, just a simple docker pull and do forward slash fast dash data dash dev. And let's hit enter. And it will pull the image. It's a little bit larger, so it may take a second. Um, I will be back once the image has been pulled. Here the download has completed and now I have the Lendoop Fast Data Dev image locally and we can go ahead and use it. Let's take a look at the start command to actually run this container. Going back to Docker Hub and on the Lendoop Fast Data Dev image um, or repository page scrolling down a little bit you will see here just run and here is our start command. So what does it do? Uh, docker command uh, run the container dash dash rm uh, denotes to remove the container once um, the image stops running net equals host so here we're telling it to use actually the host uh, network and then we're just giving it the image name you may notice here the image name here is different than what we've just pulled because we have actually pulled the len dupe fast data dev and not uh, lensesio so um, we'll need to change that but generally speaking we can just go ahead and copy this command and hop back over into our terminal here i am back in my terminal and let me clear my screen and let's paste the command that we copied and uh, was as i've said what we need to do is we need to change lensio into Lendoop because this is the image that we actually did pull. So if everything went well, we should be able to run this container right now. I'll hit enter and here we see all the startup messages coming through. It's firing up all kinds of different things. A broker, caddy, a zookeeper and so forth. I will not go into greater detail of these. This is a demo just to show you how you can run Kafka in a Docker container so you can use it and learn more about Kafka. So everything has uh, started up successfully and our container is running. If you have started up your Docker container and everything went well and started up successfully, you can head on over to localhost port 3030 and you should be presented with this um, Kafka window with the, the Kafka development environment in which you can then see the different schemas that are currently present, the topics that are present, uh, the connectors and the brokers. You can scroll down a little bit. You see some uh, other information displayed here, but this um, should give you a very good idea uh, or this is a indication that your container is running appropriately and properly. Uh, with that being said, let's uh, see real quick on our topics here. I can just hit enter 
and then you see the different topics that have been uh, created. These have been created automatically uh, for development purposes, and then you can uh, browse through it and you can learn more about it. So now that we have successfully started our Docker container, it is uh, running properly, everything is uh, working. Let's see how we can actually use Kafka in an application. For this demonstration, I have written a fairly simple Python script that will demonstrate a Kafka producer and a Kafka consumer. Um, when creating this Python script, I've used uh, Kafka Python. I will put the link also in the video's description. Um, when you can, or if you would like to use that too with Python, you can just simply run a pip install Kafka Python and you can recreate the two scripts that I have created here. There's also some examples in the read the docs um, documentation for Kafka Python. You can browse through it at your leisure if you would like. And here I am in Visual Studio Code. Uh, let's take a look at the producer and the consumer scripts. I will make both of these available on GitLab and I will post a link also in the video's description. Um, in the producer script, I'm just importing from Kafka, Kafka producer. I'm importing time. I'm creating my producer and I have to give it the uh, address of the server my Kafka instance is running in. In this case, it would be bootstrap underscore servers equals, in this case here for us, seeing we run it in Docker, localhost, and then the port is 9092. Then I'm iterating uh, through 1 through 100, and I'm creating a message that I would like to send to Kafka. And then I'm sending the message. Uh, important here is, is that I have to give it the topic and then I have to give it a key and then the value. The value here is just simply sending number and then I'm attaching or appending here uh, the number depending on the iteration I'm on. I'm flushing and then I am uh, sleeping or I'm pausing for two seconds before sending the next message. Now let's take a look at the consumer script. Here I am importing from Kafka, Kafka consumer. I have to create my consumer. I have to give it the topic I'm subscribing to, which is TDC demo again. Then I um, also have to give it here the server that I want to connect to, bootstrap underscore servers, localhost, again, port 9092, auto offset reset. That means either get the oldest or the newest message. Earliest here will give you the oldest message first. And... Um, you can also pass in here latest, which then would get you the newest message. I left it at the oldest message. Uh, and then what I'm doing here is from messaging consumer. So I'm iterating through the messages that the consumer is receiving and I'm printing out my values that have been received. And um, this is a pretty much an endless loop in the sense of that this will just be sitting there and waiting for messages to come in and print them to the screen. Here I have switched over back to my terminal. I have split my screen here. On this side, we will run the producer and on this side, we will go ahead and run the consumer. And I did write the Python script in a virtual environment. So I have activated the virtual environment. As you can see here, Kafka test and uh, we're good to go. So let's start our producer first and uh, let's take a look. So here is my producer.py file, and I will just run a Python producer.py, and I will just run the script. And you see there's no output. I'm not uh, outputting anything. But um, seeing that I have an empty row here, we know the script is running, or that nothing is happening on my command line. Um, now let's switch over to the other side, and let's run our consumer. So again, I'm doing an ls, and here is my consumer.py, and I will just write python consumer.py, and I run this, and you will see here it retrieved all the old messages. Um, this goes back to the offset that we said. So um, it retrieved all the old messages from the oldest down to the newest, and as my script over here, the producer is sending messages to Kafka. You will see how they're being received here. And it will just iterate through and will receive up to 100 messages because that's the loop that we have set. 
This concludes uh, this very brief demo of how you can get started with Apache Kafka running in a Docker container. I hope you found this video helpful and I uh, hope you will continue your journey learning more about Apache Kafka. If you liked the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Feedback is always welcome. Leave your feedback in the uh, comments. And uh, thank you so much for watching.